I want to take this top pattern from Tilly and the Buttons and turn it into a bodysuit. This is how the top looks and I want to do this version with the really cute puckered sleeves which is the same version that is on the front of the envelope. I'm going to use McCall 7983 and I'm going to use the bodysuit pattern to help me turn this top into a bodysuit. So I have the front pattern piece here of the Tilly's pattern and then this is the front pattern piece of the bodysuit from the McCall's pattern. I'm just going to line up the edges which is the center front fold line and I'm just going to make sure they're pretty nice and even and then I'll secure it down with maybe some tapes or pattern weights and then I'm just going to trace a line with a marker and just trace all this out and then I'll cut the pattern out and I'll do the same thing for the back pattern piece and then I'll just you know trace around the leg opening up only to the edge and stop and I'll keep the rest of the pattern the same so I'm only going to trace out this area and cut it out and that's it and then I'll just sew everything up. This is what I initially traced out, but then I decided that maybe I don't want this as wide. So I'm going to actually cut on this line just so that it will have more of a curvature. And then I'm doing the same thing on the back piece. I'm tracing it out and I'm going to bring the line up just a little bit on this side just so it will come in and not be so wide. If you want to do this and you don't have a bodysuit pattern to trace, you can just take the bottom of your pattern piece and just make a curve and draw an extension down and then curve it over. Make sure these two edges are nice and even. So you can hand draw it if you feel confident enough or you could just use a pattern like I did and just trace everything out. This pattern envelope just ripped up so I'm actually going to take some tape and kind of piece it back together but what I'll do when I'm sewing is I'll follow the directions for the top using these pattern directions and then for the bottom where the bodysuit begins the opening and everything then I'll just use the directions from the McCall's pattern. I'm going to use this black knit that I had left over from another project this was in my scrap box and it's the perfect amount for this bodysuit. The bodysuit is all done. I did wash it so the sleeves are really wrinkled but I think you can see the ruching effect that is created by using a quarter inch elastic and then here is the back of the bodysuit. My mom was wearing this brown Sherpa jacket and I fell in love with it and she told me I could have it. So I love it and this is my first time wearing it out. I have it on with the bodysuit and I'm just about to go out and just make a few runs. I have been sewing through a lot of my scraps and I'm actually going to Joann's today to see if I can find some fabric. There's a dress that I'm interested in making so hopefully if I can find some fabric that I like then I'll get the fabric so that I can make the dress and I actually have a gift card so I'm happy about that and yeah I haven't been to Joann's in a while so I'm interested to see what they have in store Oh, 
Okay. The pattern that I want to make is Simplicity 9597 and I want to make View B which is like a jumpsuit. The fabric that I purchased is a chocolate brown fabric. It's actually not the best quality. It's 100% cotton and it's kind of thin like you can like kind of see through it. So yeah. But what I'm going to do is make the garment up kind of like a muslin. So I just kind of want to test the fit because I'm not sure how the bodice is going to fit, especially in the back. So if everything turns out fine, I'll probably just wear the jumpsuit anyway. But if not, then I won't feel so bad about using this fabric in order to make it up. I absolutely love these chickenless morsels from Trader Joe's. I keep bags of these in my freezer. So I'm about to make a salad with just cucumbers, tomatoes, avocados, and then I'm going to put these chickenless nugget things on top. So good with some type of dressing. I decided to go ahead and add a few olives to the salad and then I'm gonna put some ranch on this and oh, it's gonna be so good. I can't even wait. I am currently doing my nails and I was sitting here thinking about yesterday, I almost missed something. So I was in my bedroom and I was doing some work and I heard the doorbell ring. But since I wasn't expecting anyone or anything, I didn't get the door. But the person at the door was so persistent. They just kept ringing the bell, kept ringing the bell. So after a while, I was like, hmm, let me go see what's really going on. So I went and I opened the door and it was a guy there and he had some balloons and a gift bag. I was like, oh, hello. So he confirmed that he was in the right place. And so then he handed me the items and I took them in the kitchen and I was like, hmm, I wonder who this is from. It was from my husband. He sent me an edible arrangement. And when I opened the gift bag inside, there was a box and it was a dozen chocolate covered strawberries. Oh my goodness, these strawberries are so big and they are so, so good. So I have been like killing them basically. I only have a few left. So such a nice surprise and yeah, I totally almost missed that delivery. I don't know if they would have just left it or what would have happened, but needless to say, I'm glad I ended up opening the door and checking out what was going on. But if you're interested in sending someone a nice gift, Edible Arrangements does not disappoint.